this E levy. Let's assume, let's switch places. Let's, let's say Sam George and his NDC are the ones pushing the E levy. They are in government and you are in opposition, right? E levy as it stands now, 1.5%. How would you have reacted to it? Would you have supported it? <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes, in the circumstances that we find ourselves, I would. And I would never have used the word foolishness, as my brother here wants to use that word. Mm -hmm. And I'm not quite sure that any constituent of mine will just call me and tell me, I'll fight with you if you support the e levy for us to have it. I mean, what would have been the alternative for us to go to IMF, go seek for a billion? That would be disbursed for us over three years. Mm. Then they will come here with their conditionalities as a headmaster in a school, bring socks a black shoe, a yellow tie, before you Structural are... Structural adjustment and working with the Bretton Woods institutions is nothing new. We've been there since what? But must it continue? The, the 60s, 70s? Yes, but there Especially was slave the trade. Why, why did we... For you to do it for yourself, rather than believe that that has been done over and over and over years. So what is the big deal? Let's continuously be under structural adjustment. I mean, yes, must we go to the IMF for extended credit facility? Mm whilst we probably can do what they will be giving to us, giving us all those conditionalities, don't employ, don't do that, cut that expenditure, of which you and I know these expenditures are very, as the head of your family, that you probably need to put your kids in school. There are two of them, now one turns up, so your, your expenditure goes up. So you probably will go to your friend Sam George and ask him for, say, a loan, or for him to come and oversee how you manage your home. Then he tells you, you have two kids already in school. One is trying to go, the other one to school. By the time that the other one would have been gone, going to school, there'll be no time for that person to go and learn. Even age may have catch up with that person. Is that what we are actually trying to tell ourselves? That is why I would have supported them if they were in power. And we have the current situation we have in the world, not only in our country. Just today, the United States debt has crossed 13 trillion, mm. much more earlier than it was expected to reach there. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and click the bell icon and get notified every time we share something interesting. We would love to have you on.